You ever get that feeling that you're going at normal speed, but the rest of the world around you, including time, seems to be in hyperspeed? I sit down to do a 30 to 60 second intro to a YouTube video and yeah, it just seems like the world around me is going faster than I am. I just don't get it. I guess it could be argued that I'm going in slow motion and everybody else is at normal speed, but that's not the point. The point is it just seems like time is slipping away from me always. That's time blindness, and it affects people with ADHD. It affects me in more ways than one. Then again, I guess it affects everybody with ADHD in more ways than one. But it just seems like there are some situations I have coping mechanisms and I can come up with creative ways to combat this symptom. Other times, it just feels like I'm battling an invisible enemy. There's nothing I could do about it. So we need to talk about this because I'm hoping that you guys have some insight and some experience and maybe some coping mechanisms that'll help me out in certain situations and hopefully help other people out. So yeah, let's talk about it. Let's get into this video. And I apologize. This intro took a little longer than 60 seconds, I believe. So my bad. How you guys doing? Welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for joining me. And if you're new here, my name is Steve and I talk about my experience with ADHD. And today's topic is time blindness because it's been killing me lately. I've been trying to come up with a schedule and sticking to that schedule to post regularly on YouTube consistently. That way you guys know when my videos are gonna come out. And I've never been able to hit that mark. Now, I do have to say that it's not just time blindness. Other ADHD symptoms prevent me from uploading consistently. But I think for the most part, time blindness is the biggest culprit. So what is it? It's really the inability to perceive time. You kind of feel like you're always losing track of time or time is slipping away. You don't know how much time has passed, how long it takes for you to do certain tasks, or even how much time you have left to your next event or appointment. We don't sense time in the normal fashion. And it could affect our lives in many different ways that I've never even thought of. For example, a lot of times when I tell a story about something that happened two years ago, I'll never use the correct time frame. I'll always say two, two weeks ago or last month or six months ago. And I know I do this a lot because my wife tends to call me out on it quite often. Another thing I've learned that it affects that I never even thought of is your reaction time. It could slow it down. And when I learned this, I actually had a flashback of when I played baseball as a kid. I got hit in the eye and had to have five or six stitches. And I vividly remember that ball coming slower than it actually was, which is why I didn't catch it. And so yes, I guess it does affect your reaction time. But here's how it affects me and here's where I get confused on how to cope with it. I used to think time blindness was more of a secondary symptom. You get hyper-focused or hyper-fixated on something, you lose track of time or perfectionism. I did a video on front end and back end perfectionism and how it affects people with ADHD. If you wanna watch that, I'll link it below or in the card. But I used to prepare a lot to start a task and I never realized that I would lose track of time while I'm preparing and next thing you know, I've spent four hours preparing to do the task and now I don't have enough time to actually complete the task. So there are many different ways time blindness is like a secondary symptom. And I always thought that if it's a secondary symptom, I would have to treat the primary symptom. Kind of like if you were misdiagnosed with anxiety instead of ADHD. If you treat the anxiety, it doesn't help all that much. Treat the ADHD and the anxiety lifts quite a bit. So that's what I've always been doing for most of my life is treating the primary symptom. But lately, I would come into my office and I would sit down to script a video or come up with YouTube ideas or just respond back to emails. And it feels like I'm working for about 30 to 40 minutes, but two, three hours has passed to everybody else and I forgot to eat lunch. So it's like, where did that time go? And every time this happens, I look back and there's no other symptoms at play that I can see. I'm not getting distracted or disrupted. I'm not getting hyper-focused in anything. I'm not trying to do four or five different things because my mind keeps coming up with new ideas of things to do. I'm just trying to knock off a task or two and three hours pass. And I don't know where that time has gone. And I don't know how to actually cope with that. So I started to do a little bit of reading on time blindness and how to cope with it. And I've come up with two coping mechanisms that I'm actually gonna to try to implement. One of which is setting an alarm on my phone every hour on the hour. And that way I get at least a sense of how much time has actually passed. So yeah, I think that's a good idea because now I can try to at least get a sense of what time of day it is rather than just 
all of a sudden looking up and it's five o'clock and I gotta leave work to go home. The other coping mechanism I'm gonna try to implement is more about how long it takes to do certain tasks. Cause sometimes we think it takes, oh, that's only gonna take 10 minutes. Other times we know it's gonna take an hour, but we usually over or underestimate how long that task actually takes. So some people will actually carry around a stopwatch and time themselves doing these tasks. That way at the end of the week or two, they got a little bit of an estimate of how long it takes to get ready for work or get the kids ready for school. And I think I'm definitely gonna implement that, especially when I'm working in my office because that's when it seems like I'm in that time warp and I can't do anything about it time is just sped up for everybody else and it slows down for me. What I really wanna know is, how do you guys experience time blindness? Do you guys experience it as a secondary symptom? Hyperfocus, perfectionism, distraction, that type of thing? Or do you guys experience as a primary symptom and you have no idea where the time goes and it literally feels like there's not enough time to do anything, not even one thing on your task list? That's how it feels to me sometimes. So yeah, how do you guys experience it? Oh, do you guys also have coping mechanisms? Because I need some. I really wanna start being consistent with uploading videos and I definitely have other aspects of my life that I wanna start being consistent with that I think time blindness really, really affects. So let me know what you guys' coping mechanisms are. I'm hoping you guys got something out of the video. I'm hoping you guys liked it. If you did, hit the like button. It definitely helps me out. And I'll see you next time hopefully next week, because I'm trying really hard to be consistent. So yeah, hopefully next week. Yeah, I'll see you guys next time.